first thing we learn then about this poem of his that raises a hero for God is that of themselves his parents cannot have children at all. The opportunity to have the sort of home we're desiring comes to Manoah and his wife purely by grace. And is very clearly pointed out like that. And from that point on, gratitude is what drives all their responses. Because three whole verses at the very outset are dedicated to pointing out the fact that Samson comes from a childless home. A certain man of Zorah named Manoah from the clan of the Danites had a wife who was childless and able to give birth. It's pretty straightforward, isn't it? When God is about to raise up a man who will be world changing, here is where he chooses to make a start. If we're going to start on this, it's going to be all down to God's grace. Incidentally, it's not just Manoah's wife, is it? There's Sarah, there's Hannah, there's Elizabeth. Look what God brings from that. He seems to delight in it. In fact, there seems to be a history of godliness and childlessness in the Bible. So, those of us who perhaps have difficulty getting started, um, you know, there's encouragement there. Mm. Uh, that generation and our generation tends to link the idea of childlessness as we've perhaps you've done something wrong. And God's saying, oh no. God sees it completely differently. 